everybody. We're on the range again. We're going to shoot this on shoot 64. I just uh, bore sighted it, looked down the barrel, and I sent one round down, and we're right on the paper. Very nice. It's going to be a real joy. Just a beautiful, beautiful rifle. All right. Just one other guy here. I came with my buddy, so one other guy down there. We're just going to have a good time. It's a little bit windy, but we're going to see what we can do. I had a better look at this rifle here on the range. Again, I got my 10 by 40 Sentinel on here. And this is a Anschutz 64. Very, very nice rifle. And we're going to be shooting a bunch of different ammo, but I'm just putting it on the paper with this junk. Just uh, getting it started. We're going to put some of that ammo that I've resized. See how everything looks. Stand by. Really nice, really nice scope. It's a lot of power, but really, really nice scope. I may have to, uh, I may have to stick this on the my other 22. This is really, really nice. glass all right let's just uh, let's just throw five one two three four five let's just throw five the upper left corner out there um, it's, it's close enough it's not dead on but it's close enough It ejects to the left. I think my bullets are off the paper. Yeah, I'm going to have to re-zero. My bullets are off the paper. I thought they were going to be close enough. But I just took one shot. So let's, let's go back over here to the... Uh, the shoot and see. I think they're way down. Let's see, what do we got to do here? Up. Oh, these are eight minute clicks. It's to the left, we'll bring it to the right. We'll try 12 and 12. Let's get a little more. Let's get all the zoomies. Let's go right up to 40. 40 power. Let's see where that. Did 
didn't move a whole lot. All right. Let's just try that as a shot in the dark. We're about, we're just a little bit to the left, but we're quite a bit low. Now that's better. That's better. Now we're about an inch and an inch. Oh, we're going to go up some more. Go there and then let's to the right. Right about there. Man, I like this scope a lot. I knocked my paster, I locked my pacer off, my paster. I'm gonna go about, probably five more. I'm gonna try and shoot a paster. I shot a paster off. Okay. Now let's try five. Plus I got the cooties in the barrel for this ammo. So that'll help it shoot a little better too. All right, we're gonna go back to the same target because I've got no holes in it. I like this Morgan pad too. I may have to put one of these on my rifle. Top left corner again. All right. Six o'clock low, but I knew I was low. We're not worrying about so much point of impact as groups. and shot a pimple. That one shot in the same hole. seeing the limitations of the ammo. Yeah, we're seeing limitations of the ammo. That's pretty darn good. All right, let me get some more ammo. Different ammo. Okay, let's try some of the same stuff. This is the same auto match, but this has been formed in the die, squeezed up the, to bump up the diameter. And it's also been checked for rims. So it's uniformed, sorted. There's the nose, same ammo, same federal. Let's try this now. Right next to the last one, same ammo, just sorted, and it goes in firm. Oops, I'm on the wrong target. All right, we're just going to go one to the right.
very, very firm closing the bolt. So it really bumped up the diameter. Now remember, this is the same ammo out of the same box, same everything. Just, it went through the die and it went through sorting for rim thickness. And it's gonna be a five shot. shot group i said it's hard you know, you're 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 squeezing that bullet into that chamber because it's fat <laughs> i don't think you're going to believe the difference I so much want to go down there right now and show this to you because it's pretty incredible. But I can't stress enough, it's firm to go in the chamber. It's, you got to push on it to get it to go. So let me uh, get some other stuff here. That's, that's incredible. Let's look at this thing and uh, I'll come back. And I just finished that uh, 64 for this ammo. This is the same auto match ammo. And we're going to shoot five shots. I've already shot five through it to get the cooties in there. So I'm going to shoot five shots now on the same target. I'm going to use the bottom left corner. same target and we're going to shoot the same ammo same conditions now it's a little bit just a tad breezier right now but can't control that too much let's see what we get here all right real time you're watching me do it this is five careful shots with auto match not not nothing done to it Click. Let's hope it just didn't pick one up. Okay, now let's do five of these sorted.
All right, again, same target. We're just gonna go to the bottom. One more to the right. That wind is whipping. My ribbon's coming up. The ribbons I got out there are coming up into my target. I'll give it just a second here to see if it calms down a little bit. It's been windy all day, so it's not gonna get, we're not gonna have no wind, but. All right, here we go. I thought maybe it didn't pull a case out. You really got to carefully load it because it's it's heavy. It's a it's fat, you know. <laughs> Pit uh, pimple. Dead center pimple. That fired before I was ready, but it's right next to the other one. Oh, I threw one. I think that was five. Yeah, it threw one. Too bad it ruined that ruined that group, but it's uh it's still dramatically better with the sorted ammo, dramatically. Okay, here it is, side by side. Now this is the on shoots. Fifty yards with auto match, five shots. So it looks like we got two in the pimple, two to the right, and then one low left. Now this is unchanged, just open the box and shoot it, Federal Auto Match. And then I ran it through that die to reform it and bump up the diameter and to change the nose over to that EPS nose. And then I sorted all the rims for thickness. Now I don't remember what this rim thickness was, it doesn't really matter. All we're doing when we sort them is making them all within a thousandths instead of having them you know, all over the place. So this bag was within a thousandths of each other. Whatever the invention is, it's within a thousandths of each other. And then I shot this group. Pretty frickin' dramatic. Same exact ammo, same box, same lot number, same everything, except this was run through the die and then sorted for rim thickness. If that doesn't show you, I don't know what does. Now let's look at the Marlin. Here's the Marlins five shots, the same exact ammo, same day, obviously, same time, same conditions. It might have been a tad windier here for me when I shot this. You saw, you know, these ribbons I've got here. This ribbon was blowing up here in front of the, in front of the target. So it was a little bit windier for me on this one. But then this is unchanged. This is open the box and shoot it, Federal Auto Match. And then I use this, the ammo that I sorted and that I corrected the nose on. There's the one flyer I said. Now it could be wind, but wind has been generally right to left and that's left. So eh, I'm not gonna use the crutch of the wind, although it definitely has a factor. The group size is amazing, the difference. Not quite as dramatic as the, set, as the on shoots, but it's pretty, pretty frickin' incredible.
just running it through that die and sorting the rims. This is the differences that I get. This is only 50 yards. But like I said, it's it's a pretty breezy day. It's not, you know, it's not whipping wicked like it has been. You know, we got we got some wind. We saw the box get almost blown off the table. But that's pretty darn incredible accuracy. This is just this is just uh, you know, letting the cooties get in the barrel and sighting in. I had to sight in that scope so it was way down here, a 10 by 40, and then I brought it up here. But that's pretty darn incredible. And that rifle is is incredible. It's it's a beauty. It's got such a nice light trigger, single shot. Um, magazine is in it, so you just throw, throw a bullet in and close the bolt. It's really, really nice. My buddy got a beautiful, beautiful rifle. God bless everybody. GW out.